Live from Las Vegas, it's day three of the AWS Recap Show, coming to you from the floor of the AWS Expo Hall. My co-host Lee has been reporting from the field. AWS CTO Werner Vogels opened the day with a technically focused keynote talk. He made several announcements from the stage. The new C3 instance type was designed for compute intensive workloads. They are available in five sizes and use SSD storage. The upcoming i2 instance type was designed for IO intensive workloads. They are also available in five sizes and have up to 5.7 terabytes of SSD storage. Amazon Redshift can now automatically copy snapshot backups to a second region. Amazon RDS now supports the popular Postgres relational database. Amazon Kinesis gives you the power to process streaming big data in real time. Read my blog, learn all about these exciting new services. Several new products were added to the AWS marketplace today. Panzura launched a set of three appliances to help customers bridge the gap between traditional enterprise storage solutions and Amazon S3. The Axway API Gateway provides infrastructure services for the management, delivery, and security of APIs. The MarkLogic Essential Enterprise NoSQL product brings enterprise-grade database features to the cloud. The Radware Altian Application Delivery Controller provides a set of services to ensure the availability, performance, and security of mission-critical applications. The Barracuda Application Firewall provides robust security to address threats that happen at the application layer. In the evening, reInvent attendees will cap off the week with a party and live entertainment. I've enjoyed bringing you this live coverage of AWS reInvent, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I sure hope to see you here next year.